how are you all i am good and i hope you all are safe at home i am back again with few more interesting topic and your topic is miku the parrot miku let's begin have you admired birds did you ever want to fly like one can you fly i always wanted to fly like birds i'm kesar and khushi is my sister we had always wanted to have parrots khushi and me ever since we first saw piku at our friend krish's place it was a bright green parrot with black beaded eyes and full of mischief when someone came near his cage he would go through all his tricks mins up his perch swing the little bell and so much salt like a gymnast but the main thing about him was he talked piku piku baby piku is an artist he would say by the way of introduction one fine weekend morning we went to the pet market The parrot section was a feast to the eye. White, grey, crimson, gleaming blue birds of all sizes. Some quick and chirpy, others slow and full of self-importance. We circled around the cages, unable to make up our minds until we came upon a cage full of lively turquoise parrot fledglings. One of the chicks became our meat. I could fill pages writing up Miku's beauty, but looks do not come for much in friendship, do they? I loved him because he was so nice and sweet. The minute his cage was opened, he hopped onto my shoulder and perched there, whistling or nibbling gently at my ear. Soon, Miku learned to do everything Piku did and had us in fits with his pranks. There was only one flaw about him. Sadly, he would not talk. We used to spend hours calling his name, but the answer was a soft trill. And so it went on till one day we made out fatal error leaving a window open. When we got back, there was no trace of Miku. We rushed out and searched for him high and low. He did not come to our call. It was night already and getting quite cold. Then it started raining and we pictured our parrot sitting wet and miserable in a tree somewhere. Crows called. We shuddered to think what they could do to our helpless pet. I wrote a few notices about the lost bird. Kushi pasted them up by the bakery, the grocers, the bank, and the laundry. The next day, we had plenty of phone calls, but none of them brought news of our Miku. After classes, Kushi did not budge from home, but kept vigil by the phone. all to no avail later that night we had one more call kushi slouched to answer yes we did put up a notice that's right right blue with a mauve bump over the beak he was beginning quite cheerful yes he's called miku His face fell, and how did you know? He told you, but a parrot can't talk. That was some other bird. Would you mind if we came over? We had very little hope of seeing our Miku. Still, we took our cage and went to that address. As soon as we entered the office. He flew off the table, sat on Kushi's shoulder, pinched her earlobe, flew over to me, rubbed his beak against my face, and gave a short chirp up. 
The owner of the office told us how the previous night he had heard a tap on the window. He saw a parrot and let it in. It flew inside and said softly and distinctly, Miku. He brought fugitive home. He twittered happily and treated us to his choice tricks. He was as affectionate as ever. But he did not talk. Only a week later did we make out among his usual chur chur's, pui pui's, and twit twit the words Miku, Miku Dolly. One fine weekend morning, we went to the pet market. We circled around the cages. I loved him because he was so nice and sweet. He would hop onto my shoulder and nibble gently at my ear. I wrote a few notices about our lost bird. Kushi pasted them up by the bakery. What are the highlighted words called? Yes, they are verbs. What are verbs? Verbs are the most important components of any sentence. These words talk about the action or the state of any noun. Verbs are action words. For example, I run on a track. She can sing. You read the book. We go to park. They play cricket. Birds fly very high. The highlighted words are the main verbs. They are also known as root verbs. A root verb is the base form. It's just a simple word. The root form is used as it is in the present tense sentences. For example, I walk to school. Kids climb the tree. We watch television. You have already learned how to use pronouns in first, second and third person point of view. Let us see the rule of using a verb in first, second and third person point of view. Rule The root form of the verb will be followed by S or ES when used along with third person singular form only. For all the other point of views, that is, first person, second person and third person plural, the root form of the verb will remain as it is. Let us see some examples to understand how the verb changes. First person singular. I work in London. First person plural. We work in London. Second person. You work in London. Third person singular. He works in London. Third person plural. They work in London. First person singular. I study English. First person plural. We study English. Second person. You study English. Third person singular. She studies English. Third person plural. They study English. First person singular. I finish early. First person plural. We finish early. Second person. You finish early. Third person singular. He finishes early. Third person plural. They finish 
early. For example, they walk to school. Kid climbs the tree. He watches television. Similarly, we add ing form, d form, ed form to the verb depending on the time of action and when you are talking about that action. For example, I am walking to school. Kids are climbing the tree. He is watching television. I walked to school. Kids climbed the tree. He watched the television. Any word that is extended from a root verb is called a participle. Thus, the ing, d, ed form of verbs are called participles. These participles are different for different tenses. Hence, these verb forms are generally referred to as present participle or past participle based on the tense being used. We know that the past form of verbs usually are accompanied by D or ED. The past participle form for few of these verbs is the same as its past form. Laugh, laughed, laughed, help, helped, helped, jump, jumped, jumped, love, loved, loved, work, worked, worked. Past form and past participle form are same for these verbs also. Find, found, found. Build, built, built. Catch, caught, caught. Bring, brought, brought. Make, made, made. Sell, sold, sold. For some verbs, the past participle form is different. There is no rule to learn the past participle forms of verbs. You have to simply remember them. Sing, sang, sunk, see, saw, seen, fall, fell, fallen, give, gave, given, go, went, gone, swim, swam, swum, begin, began, begun, blow, blue, blown, break, broke, broken, drink, drank, drunk, fly, flew, flown, Hide, hid, hidden, rise, rose, risen. Tense, you all have understood this topic well. And your homework is page number 20 to 25, activity book. And page number 28 to 32, workbook. So keep watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.